Bob's chilling out Saturday morning, it's match day. What's going on today, Bob? You look very, very casual today. I'm loving those spectacles. All right, guys, World of Lewis here, and today we've got another match day vlog for you guys. It's a wet, miserable Saturday morning. It's gonna be a three o'clock kickoff. It's Manchester United versus Nottingham Forest. And on the back of the disappointing 2 0 loss, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium last weekend. I'm hoping that the team can give us just a, a surge of energy today. It was very just lacklustre last weekend. Nothing going forward. There was just nothing seemed to be working. And hopefully in the past week, Ten Hag has drilled into the players that today we massively need a win. Forest was a team last season that we played quite a few times and we got quite a few goals past them. So hopefully that will be the same today. But in these wet conditions, I don't know. I think anything can happen. Come and join me and let's find out. Come on United. Right guys, just pulled up at the Trafford Centre ahead of today's encounter with Steve Cooper's Nottingham Forest. Your little uh, display yeah, of the yeah. screen. Yeah, it's good isn't it? I think going into this game, I think Forest have had the better start to the season. They only well, just lost. Well, aren't they? Just on gold. They, they only oh, just yeah. lost to Arsenal. On their, the 11th, oh, in on their opening game, uh, they managed to beat uh, Sheffield Two United watch, Sheffield in the last right. minute. Um, I think they'll be quite optimistic going into this game, especially given the start that we've had. And I don't want to be too negative, but we have to be honest with ourselves. We, I think Wolves deserve to come away with something against us. We deserve to lose against Spurs with our performance. Um, it just doesn't really... Poor, isn't it? Like... I'm interested to see what you you're going to you predict. You could cut all that out and just say it's been crap. Yeah. Uh, it's been poor. Yeah. Uh, today, obviously, I don't think Forest haven't won uh, since 1994, uh, where they beat us 2 1. And the stats obviously heavily weighted against them. We've won the, uh, the last 10 games against Forest in all competitions. Uh, and last 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 season we we played them several times, didn't we? And we put a total of ten goals past them. So so. But they'll come here. They've got nothing to lose, have they? Let's face it. United no. are under pressure. Uh, we've got injuries now. Luke Shaw's out. I ain't gonna miss Mason Mount. Uh, Dallow will come in. Why? Mm. So we need to start performing. Underachievers, un underperformers, uh, we, we, it's been very poor, uh, it's difficult to signal out the, those who are, uh, are playing well, so Luke Shaw's is a loss because he, he puts in a shift. Yeah, he does. Want to see better play from Fernandes, mm -hmm. what we're going to see from Rashford, I don't know. Uh, will he have faith in Martial, I don't know. Uh, yeah. And, and obviously, Casemiro has not the greatest start. No. So there's a lot of ifs and buts. Uh, what do I see happening today? Uh, we need the three points. Yeah. I know it's only two games in and we're we're off the pace, but we need to start getting some goals. Our goal because what we don't want is do. already minus. Yeah. What we don't want to do is end up being so many points. No, you're playing catch behind. up. Uh, yeah, yeah. We need to be winning these games. So. It's difficult to predict. Your, your prediction last last time out didn't really prove no, to be. No, it's, it's tough, isn't it, with United? Because you, you, you never, never know what you're Well, you get. do know what you're going to get these days, but uh, no. I'm going to go. I think Forrest could push us close. You're going to still my prediction, aren't you? I'm going to go 2 1 I United. Gonna two, I was going to say 2 1. Um, Obviously, I want to see us score 4, 5, or 6, but it never seems to happen. But 
I mean, their opening two games, they've not, con you know, they've done alright. They've only conceded three goals. Um, I don't know. You know what? 1 0. You know, I just, yeah, I, I, but I do think they'll, they'll, they'll concede. It sounded like I was going to demand something a lot better than last Saturday's, last Sunday's. Awful. One thing I will say yeah. though, if you watch Ten Hag's interview after the Spurs game, all he said was that the first half we played well in the first half. Why is he glossing over the first half performance when the whole game was was? Yeah, it's like, he's why? trying to pick. He's trying to pick. There was no, there was no positives from that game. I'm sorry, no, there wasn't. Sometimes I'd rather him say, look, look it's not good enough. No, because it wasn't. Yeah, we lost. We lost two 0 mm. I think it's the worst we've ever played at that stadium as well since. Um, yeah, we've been playing. 2-1, 1-0. Let's go. Right guys, fill it oh fish. Not a very popular choice. Alright guys, here is today's starting eleven. So we've got Onana, Martinez, Fernandez who's captain, Martial, Rashford, Eriksen, Casemiro, Varane, Dallo, Anthony Mabaseka, and on the bench we've got Henderson, Fernandez, Lindelof, Maguire, Gore, Pellestri, McTominay, Garnacho, Sancho. A few changes in there. I really want Martial to perform. Excuse me, you have the bank. <laughs>
brilliant start, we're 1-0 down. Mistakes in midfield again. One on one with the keeper, he's not gonna miss. Oh my god. Free kick, so oh my god. Bit harsh that, but I mean, yeah, you, know, you can't blame them for thinking it, I suppose. It's half time. United won, Forest two. Didn't think I'd be saying that. Um, both our predictions out the window. Bit of a weird first off. Obviously, we were shooting towards the Stratford end, which was a change. Was it? I don't know. Misfortune, but it, it was just. It reminded me of when we played um, Leeds last season at home, and we conceded in like the first or second minute, and then we could see it again just after half time. It just seems really like why did we get ourselves in this situation? I mean, it, it seemed like a tapping to get us back into it. We've been dominating since um, that goal. I was hoping we'd get it by 2-2 two, two before half time. That would have set us up good for the second half. But uh, again, it's too uh, easy. For I mean, we started. I mean, their first goal straight through the middle. 1-0, second, our defence were just wax dummies, I think. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to see that again, but very poor defending. And that was like five minutes. Uh, they, they look more alert, they, they got in behind us, they, they broke a few times. They seem a lot calmer on the ball as well. They don't yeah, I mean, they're like quite physical, but yeah. you know, they, they can brush Anthony off the ball like a feather. You know, they're, they're a lot more physical, yeah, yeah. but we just can't do the basic things, uh, what's required of them. We got back into it, oh yeah, we've had the possession, but again, that final ball has not been there. And Forrester had a few breaks and looked like they could have, they could have uh, also increased their lead, so it's just poor really. Uh, a lot of underachievers again. Yeah, I don't know what half of these players think they're doing on the pitch. There's no effort from some of them. I'm certainly not seeing it. anything to make us think we're not going to finish in the top four. So, Tenor has got a lot of work to do to uh, turn this round because they could break and break and get another one, and that could be over. Despite his last two performances, when he got an actual one for that pace, I didn't even bit perished on. I think. When he came on against Spurs, he looked like he did a, a, push, a little bit of a shift in. Sancho as well, I mean, Arsenal... I think mean, anybody would be a plus at the moment. I mean, Marshall and Rashford have been... They've not, really, they've not done anything, have they, at all? Anthony's got hold of it, but he's not really doing anything with it. It's just really... Very like predictable. Very Predi yeah, yeah, predictable. Well, they've just done a team model. Definitely Bruno, just saying what we need to do. Seriously, we need to get the next goal in this game. If Forrest get third, it's all over. That 
that's a bizarre stop. But I know, Lindelof horns. Could have been free there, just disorganisation, no communication at the back. Substitution for United in place of the 21 and Anthony. So the RA comes me off. McTominay on. Oh no, it's been booked for taking too long. The referee has indicated a minimum of 11 minutes. 11 minutes. Yards in that first. Flash the cross goal. That's full time now, match 93, knocked up for us two. Wow. Well, again, it certainly wasn't the 1 0 that I predicted. Two early goals from Forrest within the first four minutes. We literally spent the whole game catching up and then holding on, really. Um, you know, my voice is gone. Um, I think we could have killed the game off at many opportunities. Just going forward, it just wasn't quite as strong. Obviously, Forrest got the red card, which had, I suppose, some advantage. We got the penalty, which Bruno strongly put away. Um, but I want to see more goals. I think we could have got at least another two past them after that. Not the most convincing of performances, but um, you take it. 
and then we move on next weekend Arsenal away that will certainly be a difficult one I don't even want to think about that one but in the meantime let's just reflect on this one and what we need to do better come on sitting glazer protest after the game today. Many people have stayed and they're all in this stand, the Charlotte Church is down this stand. They're all going over to the TRA section in the Stratford end. Stewards aren't really out for a bit, they're stopping them just uh, over there.